Welcome here on the shooting range of MEC in Dortmund. Today I want to tell you about the point zero and the position. The question is how can I change my position before or during shooting to get higher or lower or left or right with my rifle. This is what we call point zero and we believe if you have the rifle in the most relaxed position there it will be calm and stable. So before this uh, we already worked on the rifle. There is a video on my YouTube channel about point zero and rifle settings. Uh, if you are interested please watch now and today we just want to show how we can use the position to regulate and uh, change the direction of the rifle. So the story starts however with positioning my left feet on the line to the target and on the limit to the range. And now I bring my right foot on the normal position, which I found out before in many hours of training. This is more or less my zero uh, constellation for standing position. So now uh, let's just uh, start with a typical question. The rifle is a little bit too high or a little bit too low. The easiest and the most common way and the most uh, intelligent way to regulate the uh, point zero in the highs is using the right leg. This means if this is my position and I bring the right leg closer, it will move my hip forward and the rifle will go up. If I go out to the extreme with my right leg, uh, no. If I move inside with the right leg, the point zero will go down. If I go outside, it will go up. So if I start with my normal standing position, my normal distance in between the left and the right leg, I will have about one or two centimeters in both directions to change the heights. Uh, let me start it with a practical test. So I bring my rifle to position. Now I have a lot of time to check my balance, my tensions, my statics. The first thing I do now when I'm quite satisfied, I look over the diopter, look to the tunnel, and then I watch the position of the tunnel to the target. And if this is okay, I can breathe another one or two times until I feel really comfortable and relaxed. And now I go down and start aiming. So, now my point zero was a little bit above the target, so I want to go down with my muscle in the next shot. And what I do now, I move the right feet a millimeter or two 
closer. I repeat the whole procedure, bring the rifle into position, look over the diopter to the target, breathe in and out until everything is relaxed, and I control. So this is the video, it works, I am now perfectly on the right height, uh, but a little bit left of the target. Uh, for uh, sight uh, mistakes of the point zero, I can use my right feet as well. So if I bring it back, it will turn my rifle to the right side, if I bring it forward, it will bring my life to the left. And what I do now, compared to my position, is I go a millimeter forward, not more than a millimeter. This will be normally enough for the next position. I can even do it in position, but with shooting shoes it may be complicated, so I just stay okay so uh, the right foot is the easiest most comfortable um, method to play with a point zero you can use it to go up and down or left and right. It makes sense to move uh, the right leg during your training or during your competition because this relaxes the muscle, takes a little bit away the constant pressure on the knee. So if you observe uh, very good shooters, you will always find them in between uh, a break or inside a break to play with the right feet just to give it a comfortable feeling and to regulate the point zero to the very center. So if our feet are in the perfect position we come to the next typical classical way to change the point zero and this is the left elbow. The connection between the left elbow and the hip is the classical uh, way to rule the direction of the rifle. This means if I go forward to my stomach the rifle will go to the right side. If I go back, it will go to the left side. If I bring the elbow a little bit higher, the point zero will come up. And if I go down more forward, the muscle will go down. The shooter anyway has to recalibrate the position of the left elbow with every shot. So be careful and be clean when you bring it in. I just uh, go into position now. So normally I bring the rifle straight up with from the tree pot. I bring it over to the target only using the left arm and I bring it down. And now I concentrate on my hip and on my elbow and I try to find the perfect place to rest it. The bones carry the rifle and the right position of the arm and the, of the bone inside regulates the direction to the target. When I'm satisfied with this, I open my eyes, look over the diopter and aim with the tunnel to the target can make a little correction if necessary and now 
After the last breath, after relaxing everything, I go down and control the direction. So, if it doesn't fit, I go back to the breathing position over the target and now I lift the elbow a millimeter, take it a little bit inside and higher and this will bring my muscle higher. The opposite way, if I go a little bit forward, millimeter is enough, my muscle will go down. So this is the most important point for regulation of the point zero. We saw how to use it up and down and now I can show you as I am in position just here it goes to the right, there it goes to the left and here I play until I find my perfect direction. So, if the feet is all right and the elbow is all right, the next uh, classical way to variate point zero is the hand on the forestock. Um, I have a very beautiful forestock here, which I can move easily forward and backward. I can move the highs easily. I can even change uh, the um, direction of this piece of wood. If I want to, I can go left and right with it, but this is not a good idea. Keep it just straight below the barrel. If my handpiece is in a perfect position, which I regulated before, I still can use it for little changes. This means if my hand is here and I go forward, the muscle will go down. If my hand is here and I go backward, the muscle will go up. And I can even play with the side. If I go a little bit forward with my hand, the rifle normally will fall back. And if I go a little bit more inside, the rifle will fall forward. Let's see it in the position. So I hold my rifle, I control the point zero in the overview, and now I can do little movements with the hand, and this is easily done, and these will regulate, let me say, the last millimeters to the center. I can do this uh, 20 times as long as I'm above the diopter and when I'm down this gives me the direction. So the handpiece is uh, something I can walk around with my left hand and every step I do here, forward, backward, left or right, will give a little impulse to my point zero. And that, this is for the last millimeters of uh, regulation. Uh, so, um, after talking so much about the point zero, I would like to end with a classical exercise for your zero point variations. There's nothing better than, uh, than exercises. The more exercises you do, the better it works in training and competition. So for this reason, we take a normal target. Um, this is a size that fits to any electronic target as well. So this would be the normal situation. And now I take 
another black center and another black center and these two now are deep right and high left. The exercise you can imagine is very clear. You just fire one shot on this target and the next one on that target and the next one on this target. This will force you to do uh, quite big changes to your point zero for every shot. If you do 40 shots in this uh, mood, at the end it will be an automatic uh, work that goes much easier and much more precise than maybe before. Uh, if you want to, oops, I hope the wall stands it. If you want to, you can start with an exercise like this, which means one shot high, one shot low, one shot high, one shot low, and then uh, after 20 shot, maybe in this mood, you can go left and right, and at the end, you can do it this way or that way. So, uh, an easy exercise, we've done it many times uh, with our courses here at MEC, but this teaches you really clear to find the best way to move the point zero and to find the best way to make constant changes. Uh, by the way, you can put this on an electronic target as well. There is enough place for two black spots. Uh, but if you do so, please set the electronic to pistol because then you get even scores for every shot and you get a picture and at the end of the day uh, you can see how your um, point zero changes work in praxis. This is it for today for point zeros. Thank you very much. Thank you.